YouTube channel. My name is Ade. I know, like, you guys are wondering like, what's going on, like, what's the situation over here. Well, I'm in the middle of reviewing, we're making a video and reviewing this, um, the new Fenty product, the Chicks Out Bronzer and Blush that just came out. I'm in the middle of reviewing, and I just thought, you know, oh, why not I share with you? I was just thinking, like, why not share it with you guys, like. I mean, there's no harm in it. It's free. I mean, you guys can watch it. It's free. And by the way, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm just saying. So, like, I'm actually trying to review this um, product is to see how it is on skin tone. Like, I've seen people review uh, my shade. I was able to get just two. That's one bronzer and one blush that I felt like was going to be good on my skin tone. And I really didn't want to go, like, all the way out on the blush. But you guys will see it as I, you know, record this video. So, um, actually my face is all... Prepped, and I'm in the middle of just about to contour, but I just decided, you know, well, while I'm just letting my concealer just, you know, set in properly instead of using the fan, I could just, you know, give you guys an introduction, introduce you guys. So I'm just going to go in right now and just finish up, then we can go in and just, you know, make this video very, very short. And just review the product so guys i'm just blending it in and you know i like the fact that me waiting to like let this set in you know has like a different um a finish i like the finish i like the way the concealer is on my face i like the fact that you know first of all blending is a very very important thing like you actually need to blend to you know get that finish that you want but i'm so like, i just love the finish on my face right now it looks so dope and that's just that's just what i was saying in the video mm -hmm. now we're just going and use the cheeks up so this is this is it right now and i actually got the shade I'm six with chocolate and this is how it looks. That's how it looks right now. Um, I mean it's I think it's one or two shades darker than my skin tone. That's why I actually got it. And because you actually can go in the store to like you know you know test it out, I just was able to like watch some videos with some girls that have my skin tone I just felt like okay this should work on me like this should be darker than me that's what I did so um, when you put it at the I mean if I put it on right now but who can work this out it's creamy I like the fact that it's creamy so I'm just gonna go straight right in and just you know use this just go in and just use a brush and just you know use it for contour and see. Uh, just, just, it's creamy. Mm. I like creamy. I'm indifferent. So mm. I just use this. So it's a big, I mean, it's creamy and it's not. And I would use it for my nose, but let me just use this first to just blend. So guys let me just put it out there this is the first time i'm using like a fancy product like for the face like a foundation or whatever this is actually the first time i'm using any of their products and i know that there are a lot like good reviews about their products but i haven't used it myself so i really can't say but i mean i like this i like i like the fact that you can actually you know um 
just set this in. Mm, I like this. I like the finish. Okay, so I feel like if you actually, I mean, if you want, um, if you want it to be very obvious, you just have to keep putting in like just one layer. It's not enough. So you just have to just, you know, keep putting if you know you want more to just, oops, to just, you know, make you have to bring out the results you want. That's what I think. So I'm not gonna set this in with any powder. I'm gonna use go right ahead and just use the blush like not now But I will use the blush instead of like setting it in. I'll just use the blush. But before that, let me contour my nose and I like the fact that Hmm I like the fact that you it's not like when you put it you know that's it's not really pigmented like there's some there's some like um concealer or bronzer or whatever that when you put on your skin is like you actually just have, i mean it's when you put it on it's just very pigmented and you have to tone it down like probably use something to cover it up but this is actually not bad i think this is actually perfect for my skin tone like perfect for my skin I don't regret getting this product. Like even if I didn't go to the store to test it out, <laughs> just, you know, just set this in. And I'm using the Dama Blend setting powder. Still my favorite. Before I can get my hands on any one, like I just really like to, you know, try product first before I get them. Like, I mean, if it was something I've been I've been using, then I know what is like. I know my shade, and I just go can just go get it. But I want to try other um, setting powders too. So, just. guys, I've just finished um, setting my face. So I'll just go in and just finish up my eyes, and I'll be right back because I like to finish my look with a blush and just you know set it up and that's it. So I'll be right back to show you guys what I think about the blush. So in, I'm done with the face. I'm done with my you know, my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with my blush and one thing i also forgot to say is that the um the packaging of the bronzer and the blush so i like the fact that it's this it has this gold you know this gold kiss and everything and yeah i like the fact that you know it comes with the mirror and yeah and yeah that's just it i like the fact that it's gold and you know just fancy you know i think i can't remember how much this was i think 20 something dollars and the blush is just i mean just there what if they had made this gold I'm just say they've made this you know the case gold i'm just saying <laughs> so um i'm actually using the so this is a blush and it's a cream blush as well and i know like you know maybe personally i think i would run from cream blush i haven't tried them before i haven't tried a cream blush before and this is my first so i got it in the shade i got my shade in or i got the blush in the shade rose latte and it's just like um it's not really pink 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 it's more of like a um how do i call it like a rose not rose like a brownish pink if you get what i'm saying and it's of course cream brownish pink and it's not gonna really pop on my face until like you know i had more and i think because if you had more like if you keep adding just to bring it out it might get creamy and you don't want your face to be oily that's not fun that's not that's not what we're doing so i'm just gonna go in take a brush and just i mean i could use a beauty sponge a beauty blender to do this but let's try blush let's try brush so just you know swipe this swipe this swipe and just give you guys a smile
like I said, you have to keep, you have to just keep, you know, to bring out that color in the face. I really like this. Maybe I should have gotten the, uh, the other pink, pinky ones. But this is like, I think this is the last shade, like going down dark tones or whatever. So I should have gotten maybe a pinky one. But I mean, this will also do. Um, I like the, I mean, I like the way it is, but I think if you keep putting more, it might turn out not looking good. So, but let's see. Okay. I just want to do this. Just let's get the hair out of the way. So, you see? But if I keep putting more, like it will just get oily. Yeah, that's it. Just... I think for the price for this, maybe they should have made it a little bit, just a little bit, just a tiny little bit bigger. You know, just like <laughs> just for the price, I'm just saying. But it's not bad. This is just a little color for the face, you know. It's not that bad. So guys, this is it. This is the way it looks on skin tones like mine. Just try and blend it in with the, you know. So for something like this, just want to like not drag it you just want to like you know push it in and just keep do it like you're not dragging it you're just pushing it in because it's a cream product you don't want to drag just imagine dragging like oil on your face you're supposed to make the oil just set in on the face but then you're dragging it you see it's not gonna be mushy and messed up you don't want that so that's why I'm just you know just like that it's like I'm pushing it in and just lifting it I think then you would get the finish that you want you get you know the best of it so I guess that's it for this look and let's finish the lips I'm gonna say goodbye I'm using my chestnut lip liner I love this lip liner but I'm willing to try other ones so if you know of any lip liner you know of any lip liner that is as good as this I've tried the KKW Beauty um, liner it's good but this went out quickly like see this one I can I, I can keep this for like a month or two months going um this is Anastasia Beverly Eels lip oh. Pure Hollywood liquid lipstick and just throw this in. Just because it's matte, you actually want to just use a little. I'm just going to Anastasia Beverly Hills Toffee Lip Gloss. Just this just finish it up my favorite set and spray so guys I deliberately wanted to skip the highlighter because I just don't want to put too much on my cheeks you know I already have a cream contour I already have a cream blush just let's not do too much mm -mm. so guys this is the uh, okay so this guys this is the look for this and um, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel I hope you guys give my video a thumbs up I hope you guys leave a comment like seriously like I think you guys should start doing that I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any response from you guys so guys, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up, a thumbs up, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my channel. 
and don't forget to leave a comment. Bye guys, see you later.